G'day everyone and welcome to the official Ultimate 2020 AFL Season Quiz with your host, J-Dog from True Footy. In today's video, you will see three desperately lonely YouTubers go head to head in a battle of wits and there will be only one survivor. The rules of the game are simple. Each player takes a turn to ask 10 questions of the other two with a buzzer system. The person that answers first and correctly will receive a point for that question, totaling a total of 20 points possible for each contestant. There will be three rounds with 10 questions each, and the contestant who earns the most points will be crowned King Virgin of the AFL community. Now that you understand these very basic rules, let's introduce the three contestants for tonight's championship game. In the red corner, weighing in at a formidable 82 pounds, the Prince of Baldivis, Druzy, AKA the Moist Maker. In the blue corner, representing South Coogee State Correctional Facility with more chromosomes than you can shake a stick at, Daniel H. Busher. In the green corner, standing at an impressive 6 feet and 3 inches, 6 foot 4 in Crocs, your host, Jesse Gobblema McClure. Before we crack into the actual quiz, let's take a look at some of the betting odds for tonight's event. The four primary bets we've got for you tonight are starting with an over under on Druzy scoring more than four and a half out of 20 points paying $1.92 each way. Next up, you've got Busher being troubled by indigestion at some point in the quiz paying a juicy $1.80. Based on his long history with indigestion and refusal to see a doctor, I think those are pretty good odds. Busher, why do you throw up every time you drink alcohol? Thirdly, we've got Jesse using the word asterisk to describe the 2020 AFL season paying $1.40. I like those odds. And perhaps the juiciest odds on offer for tonight's event, any evidence of actual football knowledge being present paying $21. That one is probably not even worth betting on. Have you ever witnessed three sweaty pigs go head to head in a do or die clash? I hope for your sake the answer to that is no, but you're about to. So strap in and enjoy the show. All right, round one, boys. Are we feeling ready? Yeah, I'm oh. ready. <laughs> All right, let's do a little buzzer check. Uh, Busher, when you do your buzzer, do you want to say your name? Tabernier. Don't do something with multiple syllables because you gotta you got to beat Druzy to the punch. Plonker. Yeah, you can go plonker. Do you want to go plonker? Go. Yeah, okay. Plonker. Ball or something. Indigestion. Don't say balls. Why would you say ball? <laughs> go, go Busher, I'll go plonker. All right, here we go, boys. Question one. First person to buzz in gets to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got the way too clear view. Spike, you really want a clear view? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, fuck. Which new recruit kicked a bag of four goals for his new club in the opening game of the season? Busher. Yes. Jack Martin. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, One point for Bush Daddy. Question two. At which AFL ground did Geelong defeat Brisbane in round six of this season? Busher. Yeah. GMHBA. Incorrect. Druzy, you get a free shot. Ooh, round six. You don't actually have to buzz in. <laughs> <laughs> GMHBA. That was the incorrect answer. <laughs> <laughs> that, was <laughs> that is really bad. The answer I was looking for was the SCG. All right. Keeping on the New South Wales theme, how many wins did the Sydney Swans have this year? Druzy. Oh, Ponka. <laughs> yeah, you can say whatever. That's all good. Um, ooh, I reckon they, they had five wins. Oh, that is correct. We are level. <laughs> Pegging, boys. Have it. Question four. Between which two teams was the first draw of this season? Druzy. Uh, <laughs> it was um, Collingwood Richmond. Yes, well done. Yeah. Druzy has taken a surprising <laughs> lead. Very surprising. In the only showdown of 2020, who was the showdown medalist? Plonka. Yep. Uh, Ty Dixon. <laughs> Bush, you get a free swing. Connor Rosie? <laughs> Travis I it was Travis Boak, but I can't award the point because you both got it wrong. I felt that was too <laughs> obvious. Yeah, I know. That's why I left it in there because it was obvious. I didn't want to make it like really hard. Question six. One match from round three this season was postponed to later in the season. Plonker. Busher. He said it first. Yeah, he did. Uh, Essendon, Melbourne. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you, Plonker. You were lucky though because I didn't actually ask the question. Yeah, I made the statement. On the ball, mate. Question seven. Who is the only team to defeat Geelong at GMHBA Stadium this year? Busher. Yep. Port. Druzy gets a free swing. I can't remember them having many games at GMHVA. Um, well, that's a toughie. I'll go St Kilda. 
The only team to beat Geelong this day, season at GMHBA was Carlton. Fair oh, enough. it was. Yeah. Eddie Betts did a madness that game. Yeah. Fremantle theme, boys. So this one should be right up your alley. And if you don't get it right, either of you, I'll, I'll accept nearest to the pin. But how many points down did Fremantle come from behind? Okay. Yep. Uh, 42. Meow. 36. Just it's like, not. I will I'll go nearest to the pin, Busher. It was 37. Oh, was that against the Saints? It was against yep. the Saints, yeah. yeah. Two questions to go in the round. Another Fremantle one. It's a harder one, so you boys... Um, it's because you're Fremantle fans. Caleb Sorong won the Rising Star nomination in round eight of this season. How many possessions did he have this game? Plonker. 24. Right round. Uh, 27. Right round. But Drewzy is close as the pin. It was 25. Yeah. Cool. Was that against Geelong? I can't remember. I didn't write it down. I think it was. I think it was the game that we went to. Was we it? Kicked that goal on his left. Okay, sweet. One question to go in the first round. So there's plenty of action to go. Which Western Bulldogs midfield star has a younger brother in his upcoming AFL draft? Dunkley. Is that your buzzer? Plonka hey, Dunkley. Dunkley. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect anyway. Oh. Busher, you get a free swing. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, and it's not Dunkley. McRae? Yes. I lucky you got lucky that you didn't buzz in correctly because I, I literally would have said McRae if he didn't throw me yeah. off. <laughs> End of the first round, Druzy is leading four to three. Is it four to three? Yeah, cool, sweet. All right, let's go with round two. All right, lads. So on the host for this round, uh, multi-choice, pretty statistical ones. So um, if you're a true true footy fan, you should be able to nab some of these. Which team had the biggest winning margin this season? Is it A, Port Adelaide, B, West Coast, C, North Melbourne, or D, Geelong? Jesse. Yeah. I want to say North Melbourne. What do you... Uh, do I say wrong or right? Yeah, or? say wrong, yeah. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I'm going to say Geelong. Geelong. Both wrong on the first question. Port Adelaide in round one against Gold Coast. North uh, Melbourne were second. Yeah, I remember because they just... They thumped Adelaide. Adelaide, yeah. yeah I thought... Right. That's why I got the question up. Because yeah. I thought like that'd be a, a bit of a weird yeah. one. Curveball. I thought it was a doozy one, but it ended up being the top team. Yeah. <laughs> Who was the Bulldogs' leading goal kicker this season? Is it A, Aaron Norton? B, Josh Bruce? C, Mitch Wallace? Or D, Marcus Bontempelli? Jesse. Is it Bontempelli? Uh, no. C, Mitch Wallace. Damn. Yeah, it's Mitch Wallace. Ah, Go on, yeah, Bush. Bush. All right. <laughs> this is an absolute stinker of a question. <laughs> Which team led the league in clangers? Is it A, Gold Coast, B, Colton, C, West Coast, or D, Richmond? Have a punt, boys. Bush. Yeah. I'm going to say C, West Coast. Righto. Because they use the ball a lot, so naturally they might have stuffed up with it a lot. That's yeah, they do play with the ball in hand, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I'll buzz in and say Richmond. It is Richmond. Hey. Bing, Jesse's bing, bing. on the board. They play a very high intensity style. No, With no. the ball in hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're very much a ball in hand team. Question four. Brody Grundy had the most hit outs for we're all Ruckman this season, despite, you know, some people said he had a bad year. But who had the second most hit outs is the question. Um, is it A, Todd Goldstein, B, Jared Witts, C, Sean Darcy, or D, Nick Nat? Bush. D, Nick Nat. Wrong. Incorrect. I'll go Todd Goldstein. Todd Goldstein. He's probably Wrong, correct. it's Jared Witts. Ah. Uh, Jared Witts had it does make sense. last yeah. year and, and nobody ever talks about him. <coughs> yeah, he's yeah. good. Do you want to see my funny joke? What's that? He has his wits about him. <laughs> <laughs> Question five. Which team has the two top leading contested possession getters? Is it A, Melbourne, B, Collingwood, C, Brisbane, or D, Fremantle? Bush, D, Fremantle. Wrong. Brisbane? It's wrong. It's Melbourne. Ah. It, it's Petrarca and Clayton, Clayton Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. They're both one and two. But that is a left field question, eh? Mm. That is left field. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Question six. Which team in the top eight has the lowest percentage? Is it A, West Coast, B, St. Kilda, C, Collingwood, or D, the Western Bulldogs? Jesse. I'll say Collingwood. Collingwood? Wrong. I'm going to say the dogs. <laughs> it's the dogs. Ah, I knew it wasn't West Coast or St. Kilda. West Coast and St. Kilda are sitting like 116%. There you go. So Question seven. Coming at your skull. How many team, uh, How many games did GWS win this season? Is it A6, B7, C8, Jesse. or D9? They won eight games. They did win eight games. Yes. Good job, mate. True or false? Matt Tavener took more contested marks this season than Charlie Dixon. Jesse. Yes. Yeah. False. True. True? That's wrong. Oh, oh that's false. <laughs> Go on, Bush. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, Charlie Dixon was number one and Tavener was number two. I know nothing about footy, eh? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> what are we doing here talking about footy? The the draw between Richmond and Collingwood, what was the score that each team were drawn on? Bush, 36. Yeah, you've got it. He didn't even need the option. Alrighty, last question of the round. Here we go. I need this. Um, which team had the most dream team points this year? <laughs> Bush. Go on. Melbourne. 
No, nah, that's wrong. I'll go through the options for you, Jesse. Okay, cool. A Geelong, B Brisbane, C Port Adelaide, or D Melbourne. So it's a one in three shot. Brisbane, Geelong, or Port Adelaide. Oh man. That is a toughie. I'm thinking not Port Adelaide. Uh, nice. I'll say Geelong. He's got it. Yeah. He's right. He got it. Yeah, yeah, that's still in the game. Still in the game. On for a huge round. You've got the uh, you've got the sleeper coming back in, so you should be able to breeze home from here. So final scores heading into the last round. We got me on four still. Uh, what is that, Jesteban? Yeah, Jesteban. <laughs> Jesse's on three, and uh, Bush Daddy is on seven. So a lot of ground to make up, yeah. but you know. But let's I can't see. get any more points because I'm going to be asking questions. Exactly. The next round, so. so I need to get four to win this. Let's have it. Well, okay, we we seem to be back for the final round, boys. How are you feeling? Yeah, great. Not confident, actually. I think it's because I'm going last. Maybe that's why my score is the lowest. But that's kind of an excuse because I don't think anyone's got worse than three so far. Yeah, you come fair. up against me, though. You should be all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, well, the theme for this round, boys, is player numbers. I'm either going to ask you what's a player's number or who's oh, such a number. Like, I suck we're going to do it one way or another. Like, who is number 15 for Melbourne? Drewsy. Yep. Uh, that's Ed Langdon. That is correct. <sighs> No. I have no idea about numbers. What number is Callum Mills for Sydney? Druzy. Yes. No 14. That is correct. What the yeah. fuck? All right, we'll go one that Jesse might be able to get here. <laughs> <laughs> what number Sick. is Braden Ainsworth? Jesse. Yes. 33. Correct. I don't even know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> who is number 23 for Richmond? Fuck, I have literally no idea, eh? 33. Jesse. Oh. Would you, Jesse, yes? Shy Bolton? No. Yeah, I'll just fucking say um, Caddy, but I don't think it is. It's Kane Lambert. It is, yeah. No, we've got another Richmond player here. What number is Marlon Pickett? Drizzy. Yep. That's our 50. Yep. Who is number 46 for Hawthorne? Far. Oh, I know who it Jesse, is. Jesse, Mitch Lewis. No. <laughs> is it like a big ginger bold dude? It is not. Uh, <laughs> uh, then I'll just say Tom Mitchell, even though I... D- what? That uh, is yeah, incorrect. It is James Cousins. What is Tom Mitchell? He's like number three. Yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had a punt at Tom Mitchell, though, <laughs> being 46. What number is Travis Collier for the Dockers? Druzy, that's 33. Yeah. Let's have it. I want it. Juicy's already won. This is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just in uh, jump time now. I blame yep. you for a terrible segment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who is number fifteen for the Bulldogs? Druzy Dunkley. Incorrect. Mm, I got two ideas. Is it uh, is it Caleb Daniel? It is not. Is it Toby McLean? It's Taylor Dre. Ah, oh, fuck me. I <laughs> see if anyone's gonna know that. All right, we got a somewhat obscure one. Oh, it's somewhat obscure. What that number is great. Jake Collagagny for Geelong? I'm picking people that have played last round. I'm literally just going through the teams from last yeah. round and asking whose number or whatever. Yeah, I can tell. Plonk <laughs> at 37. Incorrect. That sounds like it was close. You have to think about it. 36. Nah, it's eight. <laughs> <laughs> what number is Lewis Melican? I don't know who that is. I, I know who it is, but I have absolutely no idea. 21? Nope. 21? <laughs> Did you also guess 21? No, I just wanted to say it. Ah, we go fucking 69. Not quite, it's 43. I, oh. think, I think you'd remember it. This is this is absolute piggery of a question, eh? <laughs> what number is Lewis Pelican? Uh, Lewis Pelican? <laughs> Lewis Melican. Oh, it's 43. No multiple choice. We'll pick someone from this game here because we haven't gone here yet. All right, what number is Paddy Ryder's new number for St. Kilda? <laughs> Fuck, I, that, that probably is one I should know, but I don't. Um, <laughs> let's go 18. You nailed it. Yay. <laughs> yes. Pulled that out of the crevice yeah. of the cerebral cortex. Let's have it. Yeah, I'm assuming we've probably cracked 10 or close to it by now, haven't we? I've won. Anyway. Yeah, yeah Jersey's won. All right. Yep. Yeah, that was a very good last yep. round, Bush. Well yep. done. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Druzy, you scored nine. I scored four. Bush Daddy scored seven. Absolute piggery of a game, but a few passing words. Um, I'm happy to win a quiz on my, my, my not my channel, because I usually lose every quiz. Um, I'm not very brainy, um, but congratulations to Jesse for coming last. Um, <laughs> Just like in the bedroom, eh, lads? Yeah, you have done. success in the bedroom. <laughs> um, anyway, well, no, thanks for having me on. And, uh, yeah, no, it's been good fun. Loved it. Anytime, right. mate. Thank you, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Catch you, plonkers. Lovely.